Good evening, everybody. This is Jeff Kester with the Christian County Headliner News, and it is a happy homecoming at Ozark High School. The Tigers get a 14-7 win over Republic tonight. That snaps the Tigers' two-game losing streak and improves them to 3-2 and two on the season. Ozark took the opening kickoff, marched right down the field, in fact, converted to fourth down along the way, and that drive ended with this. Quarterback Danny Carr is going to take the sneak on the left side into the end zone for the touchdown. Didn't even have to fall down. That made it 7 nothing Tigers. It's a lot of defense from there. Easton Hanks helped keep it 7 0. He made a leaping interception in the end zone, and that came just a couple of snaps after his fumble that he forced and Ozark recovered was wiped out by a face mask penalty. I was just so excited when we got the fumble because we needed a stop there. And then whenever I saw the penalty, I was just, I just didn't know what to do. Yeah. So talk me through the interception. What, what were you looking for? What did you see there? Uh, I saw they did like a bubble screen, and then he, he ran a fade, and I saw that, and I just dropped back, and I just it off. Okay. Watch this play here. Blake Andela is going to come from one side, Skylar LeVay from the other to smash Riley Watkins. That pass was incomplete. Uh, uh, Republic got inside the Ozark 10 late in the half. Uh, late, it was like five seconds to play before the break, in fact. But Preston Carson defended that pass perfectly, and Ozark forced Republic to settle for a field goal attempt that was no good. So Ozark had a 7 0 lead after halftime and after the third quarter, but they Unlike last week when they couldn't get the big drive to close out Branson, marched down the field, they went on a 17-play, 93-yard drive to make it 14-0. That drive ended with this. Carr's going to take the snap, run the option to the right, freeze the safety, and flip to Carson for the touchdown. That made it 14. The public added a late score, but that was not enough to stop Ozark tonight. have any doubt that you go down and score. Ozark coach Chad Depay very complimentary of his team tonight of course after the win. Very happy with how the defense contained a Republic offense that can move the ball around the football field pretty quick. He was also very complimentary of the play by his lines both offensive and defensive tonight. Well I think really the biggest kicker is just kind of getting our motors revving and, and trying to get back to kind of our, our style of physical aggressive uh, you know Better, better word, you know I mean? take our defense to that offense versus the vice versa and just reacting to, and you know, you saw glimpses of it again tonight. Our, our kids kind of got going and run to the football. Um, and it's something we're more used to. Uh, but, uh, you know, hey, I, I, I got to tell you, you know I mean? We got to be proud of our kids up front on both sides, you know, defensively, putting in rushing our linebackers going, but then our offensive line, you know, we can't, we cannot uh, forget those guys because with what we do, and how we do it, you know, it takes a good group of guys up front. Those kids did a tremendous job. Ozark now 3-2 and two on the season. All those games in Central Ozark Conference play. They are on the road next week. They visit Willard. Willard suffered a 48-12 defeat at Carthage tonight. Nixa, meanwhile, they picked up a 21-20 win, another wild one. Neosho blocked and Nixa field goal, ran it back for a touchdown to take the lead late. But Ozark responded, I'm sorry, Nixa responded with a drive of its own. It ended in the final seconds on a touchdown pass to Sean Sample. Uh, we're going to head to the office right now. We're going to have that story up at ccheadliner.com. Here in the next 30 minutes or so, we'll have a story from Ozark's win over Republic, and then we'll have some photo galleries too. So thank you so much for watching this video, and keep your eye on ccheadliner.com for more great high school sports coverage. And enjoy your weekend, Christian County.